kids, young, family. Um, cost of living, the cost of homes, the duties, the help. Carrying the tasks. Yeah. The maintenance. A better school. Oh, a better much, house. Much better school. A much better house. I was going to retire out this way. I just did it a little earlier than I thought. And when we came and saw this home and then walked upstairs, we're like, gosh, they can live upstairs. This way we're just all together now. And they help me and I help them. And for that, she's going to get our share of the home. Here we build the uh, multi-generational home. And we've just begun designing homes that actually are cohesive to that living environment. Lots of people wanting to have their in-laws um, or their grown children live with them still and want to make sure that they have their separate space. Bless us, O Lord, for these my gifts which we are about to receive from thy bounty in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, now you can eat. One in three children born today will live to the age of 100. And of course we're all living longer and, and that then asks different questions of, of where we live and how our homes can accommodate the way uh, our lives change uh, over a period of decades. There's plenty of room around this house. They watch TV upstairs and we watch it downstairs. Our TV is like a flat for me. Our also it's kind of like it's its own apartment yeah. upstairs. Literally two homes in one. Two homes in one, it works. Um, we have much more complex family structures and that asks then uh, what kind of buildings we need actually to accommodate those much more complex families. Hi Scooby! He's always here to greet us. <laughs> so I have my own entrance through the um, front. I feel like I have my own place but I, you know, I, if I lived alone I would be lonely. This is my den living area which I'm using as an office now for my business. So basically I can close off the whole area to the house so I'm not bothering anybody when I'm working. And when we have parties, yes, we use it as a bar. This is how we get to my daughter's place. When you design through time, you have to ask yourself questions about whether uh, a specific function is really uh, what you want to pin down forever in that one space. And as a result, I think all of the designs have a, have a kind of move towards functionlessness and trying to build in uh, the basic conditions that allow different kinds of activities to happen. How you can share space uh, more efficiently is a way of generating uh, a kind of luxury.